Hi and welcome to Messy Church uh, Christmas uh, where we're kind of using the Chris Dingle as a good focus. This is just a little video for, uh, to help guide you through the Chris Dingle and to turn an orange into a Chris Dingle. Uh, so there's lots of stuff you'll need. You'll need uh, orange, um, uh, you'll need a candle, you'll need some red ribbon, you'll need some uh, cocktail sticks and you'll need some sweets or fruits. Some of those things you will find in the Chris Dingle bag. Uh, the uh, Messy Church bag that we've given you, um, some of those things you'll have to find around your home as well. Uh, but really we just want to use this video as a chance to uh, show you how to do the Chris Dingle and uh, to talk a little bit about why you should be doing a Chris Dingle this year. Okay, for those who don't know me, my name is Sam, I'm the Minister at French Community Church and it is an absolute pleasure for you to, uh, <laughs> for you to have me on your screen I guess. <laughs> Is it your pleasure? Is it mine? I don't know. So here is how you do a Chris Dingle. So the first thing you'll need is an orange and you'll need a bit of red ribbon. Now I have used a bit of red Christmas ribbon that I found around the house um, and I've put on a piece of sellotape to just stick it down there as well. The other thing you can do if you don't have any red ribbon, hopefully you might have a red felt tip or a red pen of some kind and you can actually just kind of skewer it on right there. And it'll leave like a nice little red. I've done this too many times now. It'll leave a nice little red mark there. Okay. Uh, once you've got your red ribbon, which represents the love of God around the world, um, then you will want to pop on a candle. We've supplied you with some birthday candles and they are fantastic because you can just pop them in. If you don't have one of these uh, and you want to try this anyway, you could get a knife, make a small incision in the top here and stick a, a regular candle in there too. And uh, what this represents is Jesus, the light of the world. The light of the world. And now we need to put all the people in the world, don't we? So you need some cocktail sticks. I've used a bamboo skewer. If you don't have any of those things, you can just go out into your garden or into your road, find some sticks, break them up into little pieces. And you can stick them in to the orange like this. And what you want to do is you want to put on the sticks the sweets that you've been provided or bits of dried fruit as well. And you can put those things onto these sticks. And these dried fruit and sweets represent all the people in the world. And I love that you can just put them out in different directions. And these represent all the people in the world. People that live in different areas of the world go out in different directions in the world, do different things, look different, are different. Um, and yet Jesus, the light of the world, covers all those things. And then what you can do is just pop that on one of your windowsills, light the candle there, and use it as a chance to reflect on God's love around the world, Jesus being the light of the world, and all the people in the world that receive both that light and love. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for tuning in.